I definitely didn't expect this. I did not see this matchup. You're gonna be have a start and just going for Aura, prepping for the jungle, because this is one of the fastest farmers in the game. Yeah, so let's see if he does that. Not afraid of going and playing aggressively. And right, kill that bottle. So doesn't have much more on that. Tofu low, tofu gone. Rotation from PYW now 3-0 for LG whatsoever. Like, really pushing the limits here. Yeah. And I would say if maybe you get one more rotation, you get, say, Tofu to come up and throw uh -oh. a Fable <laughs> down. They kill him, but Stun charged up again. He shows his back. The Acid Spray He's is dead. down. The Nature's Attendance and almost got denied by the neutral there. Enchant doing damage over time now. Like, every ability is getting tough. Tofu bottom. Another big kill. PYW making a rotation here. Yeah, they've got the Frostbite on him. They'll get the kill. Why? Well, six here for Quinn. He does... Have Dream Coil, they've got Tofu nearby, they'll drop the Dream Coil, they've got the Fade Bolt, they'll also bring in Celery, Slytherin Crush, is it gonna be enough? Bash, and a couple more right clicks and an Illusory Orb. Tofu gets credit for the kill, but that leaves Ace vulnerable, and they will take advantage of that and kill off this Broodmother. So a trade that they're willing to make. Meanwhile, while that was going on, while they were getting the kill on Asetsu, he did hit that level six, so he does have Corrosive oh, Haze. Initiating, wants to stun this Buck, maybe try to surprise him, because right now it needs to be Batrider, I think PYW also needs to pick up a Blink Dagger of his own. Maybe get a Drums in between. Dream Coil on too. PYW showing himself. It might have just been a Dream Coil on the Crystal Maiden if PYW had stayed up the steps. But they're still trying to get a kill here onto the Enchantress through the Nature's Attendance. They go after Tofu. Corrosive Haze is on him. Does Quinn want to show to this? He'll jaunt to the other side, but you're in the river. Has to Waning Rift onto the high ground, and it's a double kill for PYW. Will also try to snipe this invisibility rune and does grab it, but the Crimson Haze work. is there. That's not working for now. That on you. He does also have a Crystal Maiden on his team. PYW. He wants Blink to jump. Dagger. He's looking for the jump. Can he get in? It'll be on to Tofu. I mean, is this really the person you want to be going for? The damage is going to be too much for PYW to handle. They get the kill to Tofu, but they're ending up losing Setsu. Two heroes dead. Ace ends up falling, so this is the Broodmother gone. Quinn's at low health, White smiles off to the side, but they don't have that Corrosive Haze to really deal with the armor and break through these heroes. They'll charge up the stun, the blink forward to the back of this bristle. Now he'll walk to the front to try and get this extra damage out. Dream Coil drop down. Neo ends up dead. White smiles in the trees. No Shiro to be seen or found. A lot of damage on Luna, but still, they don't feel comfortable fighting. And I could see gaming taking their part of the map. Another coil that they maybe want to use when it comes off cooldown onto Setsu. They used Is like five coils on him throughout the whole game. Too far Durachio. though. Duraccio, look at the damage. They just ripped up an alchemist. So fast, he, he got over. Into MKB, he might run out of slots if he decides to go for BKB and AC. Then, you know, Bloodthorn might be an option, but he also might feel he needs a different item. Charging up that stun, but going the other way, looking for PYW, he puts himself on the cliff. They've got the last of the four step away. They go and get the Eclipse. They get the kill on a PYW, but they lose to Raggio. BKB's been popped by Shiro, looking over at Ace, who's going to get into the stairs with those webs. He's kind of hard to go after. Illusory Orb off to the side is going to jaunt, going after why you smile. We'll use that Ghost Scepter, but he is silenced thanks to the Waning Rift, and you've got Neo off to the side with the Aegis expiring in 20 seconds. They need to be careful about the timing on that, but they do find themselves Ace. Corrosive Haze is there with the Slytherin Crush as well as the Bash. They get the kill onto the Broodmother, taking out a second as they only lose PYW, but that split second with the Lasso was enough control to get Duraccio and win this find him. But within the webs, it's always difficult if you don't quite have the vision. He's very quick, very elusive. He is making more webs. He's trying to take that Watcher, and they go and find him. They've got the Lasso with the Corrosive Haze. They'll get the kill on Ace. They have gone all the way around the map with that smoke. Yeah. Space <laughs> created. Do finally for find the team. him. Ooh, Tofu almost gets him. Not getting stunned, and actually weaving his way through the trees. And I, I can understand why, where they're trying to break this Bristleback, try to kill him. But so far, I haven't seen it. Well, the last fight where he had it, I mean, he never even sees the bristle. He went for PYW and Ace. He's just on dead. his high ground. He's dead immediately. Pop the amplified damage, mean, you, and you your have base to is defend in trouble. This. Yeah. this is the glyph, and once you lose that tier four tower, you will have one more glyph. Let's see if he can dispel it. Yes, he can. You need to be careful if you're celery. PYW looking for the lasso, but he's gone in too far, and he's gonna die. Dream Quill was committed though, so the control that they have with that is oh, not going to be a to them. He's look dying. At the damage out of the Alchemist. The right click's coming in with the glaives bouncing around. They'll take out this Alk. 
over, extending way too far. One right click from this Sardar with some help from Shiro to take another down. And Celery's dead too. This Glyph's gonna run out and your base is gonna be in some real trouble. Stolen Corrosive Haze, but look at those bounces. They do have... They wanna make the jump. They've got Shiro continuing to farm. Using these illusions to push out the wave and they immediately go towards bot with 10 seconds remaining on Roche. But the Twin Gate, Celery's gonna jump through it. Oh, by himself! He dies. One stun, Kanda, Lucent Beam, dead. Level 20 also available because they kill the enemy creeps much quicker and it's time to go for the high ground. Butterfly available, BKB. Glyph's not no there. No Glyph yet, yep. yeah. They were both so Setsu, ready. Setsu's still trying for that stun onto the puck. Good damage on Oil to Shiro. And he might just lose this first life. PYW is also sitting pretty low. They wanted to go looking for a Sproink to get the last bit of damage, but no. Again, Celery on Enchantress cutting the creep wave, trying to delay as much as he can. But yeah, in terms of scaling, your Alchemist, uh, he's gonna hit his peak. You know, this is not the Alchemist. 30 minutes in, who's been dominating, uh, dictating the tempo of the game. This has been pretty silent alchemist. I don't think he's top of the net worth anymore. Struggling to find a farm. They were also squaring up against each other in this top lane for a good two minutes. So he right. was not farming, which doesn't benefit alchemist a lot. Satanic, next item for Shiro. Makes a lot of sense, because he dropped low real quickly there. They didn't snap the coil. Maybe they would be able to kill it. I think the best option for Setsu is try not to use the Corrosive Haze until you see Rubik and try to initiate on him because Corrosive Haze is how they come back into the game. It's very similar when you're playing against Shadow Shaman. Like, just don't give him shackles. It's that simple. Don't give Rubik shackles. Meaning Rift, not afraid to stand on the high ground with that Aegis and these Glaive's starting to really bounce around and be a nuisance. AC finished on Setsu. That's going to be extra protection against that stolen Corrosive Haze and also even more minus armor for the enemy team. So trying to take out Celery's Enchanted Creeps. New PTP bot takes those out and will escort this creep wave forward. Well, they've got PYW, the one who is pushing top. On Luna, they could definitely kill him. If Corrosive Haze is up. If there's no Corrosive Haze, I don't think they can. Shiro up out of the high ground. Glaives will do its thing. They look over at Celery. They're going to try and get the lasso. They've caught him. They've got the Enchantress. There's the bash for the Dream Coil, but no follow-up to the Dream Coil. They throw a stun out. It's on some illusions, and Shiro's just going to stand his ground. Some damage coming in, big damage coming out with the Sproinks, and they'll take the Aegis. So now you got to be careful, but there is no Dream Coil. Can they get more out on a Shiro to throw the Lucent Beam on the Ace? There's the stun, flung over by Duraccio. Four Staff out of the low ground, used by himself on the high ground. Will walk all the way down. Four Staff blinks, so the Set Crush coming in. out, two shot, and that's going to be Tofu dead without buyback. He's gone for 50 seconds. The damage from the Enchantress is being felt, but they need to be careful as they're trying to defend the base. They've got the BKB from Duraccio, but he's running away with the Lucid Beam. The right coat's coming out from the Luna. There's the heal up from the Guardian Greaves. They'll go and drop the Eclipse. It's going to be down on the Celery. They get the kill on him as well as Duraccio. That's three heroes down on the side of Game of Gladiators as they'll try to hold on to the base. Is there much that Quinn and Ace can do? And that's it. But it's you, not looking likely. You just don't have enough. 69 seconds without Alchemist. Uh, it, you're going to be playing against Mega Creeps. It's hard to tell whether Alc does have buyback or not. Uh, they could also go try and finish off the game. Shiro back to full HP with that Satanic. But it seems like they're going for Megas. Going so for the safe play. Go for the safe play. Still no buyback for Alc. And, and they also, they just really haven't shown that they have any fighting with the Slither and Crush. Found him. He got it on Quinn, yeah. and they Why just smile blow him, him up. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, he, there's GG called LGD take game one. All he needed to do was go one for 25 in stunning Quinn, and they take the game. <laughs> Setsu, he tried so many times. Catching him in the end, the game ends immediately. But, uh, yeah, what a performance from LGD. Uh, they were down, like, five, six.